Hey guys, and welcome to another new and exciting Sony Vegas tutorial hosted by your very own SportsFan1100. Today I'm going to be going over chroma keying, and chroma keying, if for people who don't know what chroma keying is, it's basically green screening. As you see in this video, we're going to be taking the green screen out and replacing a nice background or something that suits, ne suits your needs. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go to File and New. And I suggest... Um, NTSC DVY screen. I usually use this one. Alright. File. And we're going to import our footage. File, import media. Um, and make sure you have a green screen. Um, to get a green screen, I should just go into like a felt store or a craft store and um, asking for like a light green felt or a dark green felt. Either will work. Just depends on the green or chroma key that we're going to be using. And I'll show you the settings on that in a minute. So now we have this. And you don't even have to mess with the region. It depends what you have, but it's going to keep the region as this. And also you can delete the the audio track as well because I don't really like the audio. I just want the straight video. So we're going to, um, first of all, this isn't the right color. We want to maybe change this a little bit. So we're going to go to the video effects thumbnail and find um, color corrector secondary. And change this um, to dark green, like light green. It's like that, so it's full green. Now, your guy will maybe change a little green, but don't worry about that because you won't really see a difference when you put the color in. Now we're going to add our chroma key, so go back to the thumbnail and find the little add button and find chroma key, so any chroma key. Add OK. And so now that the chroma key window is popped up, we're going to take the pipette tool, or you can go to the preset and find pure green screen. And you'll have this. Now, if you don't want to do that, you could try green screen maybe. It doesn't matter. So I'll just keep it as green screen. Yeah, green screen. And then, or you could take the pipette tool or the eyedropper tool and drop it in like right around here and try to see how, how that works. Um, you're going to take the low threshold and high threshold and mix that up. I think the low threshold, yeah, the low threshold gets the background and the um, high threshold gets the person. Um, now, again, I forgot to mention this, but when you're acting, try not to move too much because that will really mess up the video. And you're going to have to keyframe the uh, chroma key, so I suggest not moving that much. We're going to go to the show mask only um, box. Checkbox, and we're going to see this. Now we want the all, the whole background to be black and the person to be white, or whatever you want to see left in the video be white. So we're going to use the low threshold to turn the black around back. Sorry about that. The background black. And we're going to use the um, person tool or the the high threshold tool to change the person color. So we're going to get something like this. Um, now also try to blur it maybe about like point thirty point thirty yeah point thirty six point thirty five um, just so it doesn't look too sharp. We're gonna get something like this. Now you might have a little green at the end, but once we import that footage or import our foot background footage, you won't see that. So here's what we got. Looks pretty good. We're gonna import our footage now. I'm going to use a clip that I got from Video Streams HD, part of Video Copilot's product. I like this one. And we're just going to import that on the bottom. Now, I don't know why it works only on the bottom, it just does. Let's shorten that up. As you see, are things completely in? You can also look, go back to this, maybe see if you can fix that up a little better it's pretty good now if you play you'll have this with the um, the video in the background now if you really want to and this is only if you color corrected it in the beginning um, you can select everything and go to tools render new render that yeah, render to new track and recolor correct it so you have the original person now the background might change so that's only if you don't care about the background image or the background video so other than that you're done and 
Um, all you have to do then is file oh, render as and render your video to whoever you want and you have your video right there. Thanks guys. I hope this helped. Alright, again guys, check out my site listed in the description. A lot of people have been using the chat box. I've been asking them to use it and they've been using it. So if you guys could um you can check that feature out too. If um in the tutorials right here, but not for long after this video is up on YouTube. Um my blog I've been adding a lot of things up here and a lot I've getting a lot of attention to it. People have been even messaging me. You can leave a comment, so don't worry about that. You can leave a comment. Um in the forum again Become a member of my forum, so if you have any questions about anything, it'll be right here. So you guys can just um, post a comment or post a topic, or post a comment. I'm going to be readjusting this to make it a little better. Um, for some reason, I had a software questions tab where I just had these. So I'm going to fix that up so each um, piece of software has all their own topics. So I'm going to keep that and hope that works. Um... My new short film is going to be coming out in sometime in over spring. Um, it's too cold right now. We need to wait till it gets a little warmer. Um, and oh, my new site! My new site came out, and um, what am I gonna say? I'm not gonna be changing it to .net till my AdSense money comes in. So yeah. Um. So yeah, um, my next tutorial will be on basic training for Sony Vegas, and I'll also be showing you um, walking through of Sony Vegas 10, which I just got for Christmas. I just installed it; I never had the chance to. All right, so um, and also I'll be going over Premiere Elements 9 um, and some other tutorials and After Effects. So be ready for that, guys. And I hope this tutorial helped. And yeah, just go check everything out; it'll be all in the description. See ya.